A year like 2020 really causes a person to step back, take a breather, and think about some of those missed opportunities. Perhaps it was the love of your life, a job opportunity, or the fact you didn't get a larger size on those french fries. Come on, it's winter, just live a little. When it comes to these possible life regrets, my mind immediately travels to something of epic proportion. It was teased with the charm of Harrison Ford's smile and sped away at the pace of a Ferrari SF90, which is a pretty badass car by the way. I'm of course talking about the wonderfully epic, tragic loss of one Star Wars 1313. In today's video, we will be covering the tragic loss of one heck of an idea and why now is the perfect time to bring it back. As usual, if you enjoy the video, maybe subscribe. Star Wars 1313 is a terminated project from LucasArts that debuted during E3 in June 2012. The third-person cinematic adventure game would have been released on the previous generation of consoles, including the PS4, Xbox One, and PC. The beginning of the game would have started off with you playing as an unidentified bounty hunter in the mysterious underworld metropolis planet Coruscant. The bounty hunter would be killed by a mysterious figure, only to be revealed as the one and only Boba Fett. Throughout the game, you try to uncover a criminal conspiracy and a much smaller, intimate story on the famed Star Wars planet. The LucasArts staff took immediate inspiration from the open world of Grand Theft Auto, but the idea was quickly dropped due to the size and scope of the idea. Another idea that was brought up in meetings was a similar system to that of the Xbox system seller Gears of War. The E3 demo showed off to fans was an inspiring and unique look into the Star Wars universe that we haven't quite seen before. The graphics, for the time, were on par with some of the best, and a lot of gameplay elements were clearly inspired from that of Gears of War. Fans like myself were really excited about the possibility. But wait! There's more! Unfortunately, disaster struck the studio as George Lucas would sell the Star Wars franchise to Walt Disney. From there, production on 1313 was terminated when Disney closed down LucasArts and laid off all its staff. Almost a full year after that, reports emerged that Disney had abandoned the 1313 trademark. The path went quite cold after that, with Star Wars overseer Kathleen Kennedy telling Slash Film that Lucasfilm had been looking at material for 1313 and those projects may still be in development, whatever that means. At the time, Star Wars 1313 was unlike anything we have seen in the Star Wars universe. It was gritty, unique, and stepped away from the usual lightsaber combat into a much more realized world. This move by Disney was marked as safe, a way to cut future costs and mitigate risks that otherwise would have been a failure. And that's somewhat understandable seeing as some Star Wars games weren't a success. Instead of talking about improved gameplay, a new added campaign mode, revised multiplayer offerings and classes, and, and starship battles, we're instead talking about how f***ing greedy and stupid EA is. It's hard to argue the idea, but then years later that would change with the release of Disney's The Mandalorian, a series following a bounty hunter through a dark, grimy world we have never seen before. Thankfully, that series is so bad and so terrible and nobody watches it and everybody hates it. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Everybody loves it. Are you stupid or something? The possibility of Star Wars 1313 returning are just about impossible. The fact of the matter is, recovering assets would be very difficult. A lot of times, big decisions like this usually are full force never with the thought of backpedaling. Despite the success of The Mandalorian, I have a hard time seeing 1313 ever being recovered. And if it is, it probably wouldn't look like the mega hit trailer we saw at E3 2012. That being said, possibilities have changed dramatically with the next gen consoles. Could you imagine seeing the underworld of Coruscant through 4K 60 frames per second? Despite this thought, it's nothing more than a what could have been and quite an unfortunate one at that. So. What do you guys think of Star Wars 1313? Should Disney revive the title and give it an opportunity with games like Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order? Or was this just overhyped crap? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you on the next video.